be here this evening, y'all, that the Zet Bound files are being released in the United States in a matter of weeks. It's Jazz, Men, Nicole, and welcome to Wait With Jazz, a safe space for the obese, the overweight, those who just want to lose weight, and myself to share our weight journeys, and a little bit of my life too. I used to be 284 pounds 12 years ago. I lost 115 pounds through intermittent fasting and running. That put me at 175 pounds. I was still in the obesity category, and I actually felt myself gaining more weight. I needed to wrap my head around what's going on, why am I gaining weight, um, my eating consumption and hormonal levels, whatever the case may be. So I decided to start taking ZetBound brand medication and now currently on terzepatide compound. I'm on the 7.5 terzepatide compound as a maintenance dose. So I split it and I take 3.75 milligrams of the terzepatide compound weekly as now I have reached my goal weight of 130 pounds so I went from 284 pounds to 130 pounds this video is amazing news this video is giving me so much relief and I know it's going to give you guys a lot of relief too on the pen with Dave Knapp, this is this guy is a, a great GOP one advocator. He developed an awesome campaign and it was release the vials. And I came upon him in the beginning of my journey on GOP one medication when I was taking Zep Pound, the Zep Bound pen. And I was going through the issues, you know, with coverage, etc. Um, and I was considering the compound as an alternative route. Then when I heard about the vials, I'm like, well, that would be good. You know, I could take the dose of medication in a vial form rather in a pen, in the pen. So what would be taken in a, a generic compound vial would be taken as a brand medication in a set bound vial. But that vial was not available, it was only available internationally. Uh, and this is when Dave's on a pen. Um, I believe he's also behind man on a Majoro. Developed an awesome campaign, released the vials, and he was able to get the community to come and support. And here are the results. The fruits of his labor completed because the vials are being released in the upcoming weeks for ZetBound for the doses of 2.5 milligram and five milligram. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Like, it's, and it's so much relief. It's so much relief. What does this mean for compound users? This means that you have other options. Now, that means that you can take the brand name medication in the vowel form. And so I know the generic compound is going to be cheaper, but I'm sure that the Eli Lilly saving card will take effect and make it cheaper. Um, I'm hoping it don't skyrocket. So, you know, my eyes are out for that on the price point, but just the concept in itself. This was needed for the community. For the people who are on the brand medications, the brand pens that were in shortage and then recently reported not no longer in shortage. The shortage had something to do with the pen itself. It did not have anything to do with the medication. The shortage had to do with the manufacturing of the pen. It's sophisticated and it just takes a lot of funding to manufacture these pins at the high demand that these pins are. Okay, that landed them initially in shortage. So this vial definitely was a save. It was immediate relief to the shortage. 
the release of the Zetbound vials in the United States. They were already released prior in, uh, internationally. I didn't think this was going to happen so fast, but they put that hard work in and got the vials released. So I'm very happy for this news. I have so much relief. Fine having this option. And this initially probably would have been an option I would have taken initially if um, the price point, you know, is affordable. You call. This is a major win. This is a major win for the GOP one community. And I am just so happy to hear this news, y'all, that the Zetbound vials are being released in the United States in a matter of weeks. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm going to get at y'all to the next video. Be real.